Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll talk about that free ports. So um, this is the continuation part of our application development training. So I would suggest if you have not watched my past video, go and watch our past video. So this is the continuation part of uh, that um, application development training only. So today we'll talk about the reports. Uh, so why we need the reports basically you know that in the itsm modules or in a service now or in a it industry we need the reports for doing the compliance checking the system statuses and everywhere we need the reports and reports is a very important thing suppose today there is some incident problem change arise we need to see all this from the reports emails definitely we are receiving the emails along with that we should get some reports and that report should be visible somewhere in our dashboard so if I go back, this are, this is, these are the home page here and the, each home page have multiple collection of reports. You can see my group work, my uh, open items by escalations. So these all are reports. Okay. So we'll talk today about the report. So without wasting your time, let's get started. To create the reports, first of all, we need to identify that on which table or on which item we should get a report, right? For our case, I am just going to the hospital management and this table, I am going to create a report, right? I want to see that based on the steps, uh, how many reports are, uh, how many records are created. So think about that if this table has 2 lakhs data, so I need to identify the state wise and then along with that, the number of it is uh, the number uh, the uh, the created which is in this month only okay so let's get create a report to create the reports you have to type the reports in the left navigations and if you see this is the complete module about the reports so if you click the view runs there are already existing reports in your system all the existing reports you will be able to see so my reports is the all report that I have created and then there are some if you click the all you will be able to see all the reports that is available so there are group re global report there are group reports everything is there okay so today we'll create a, a new report called hospital record so for for that if you see once you click the create new there is a report name that you have to mention and then there is a source type so source type is a two types of source uh, one is that you can directly point to the table okay and then you can mention the table name here call patient record or else uh, you can directly mention that patient record here right and then you can do the reporting on the table or else you can do a create a report source from the report source you can get uh, the reports okay so uh, if we want to uh, do the reporting on that particular table you just need to select the uh, table otherwise you should select the data source so we are going to create a data source for uh, the first time so scroll down and if you see under these administrations there is a report source module available and this report source have multiple reports already created so i am going to create a, um, a data uh, data source or report source that can show only hospital uh, record on the, this month okay so first of all i put that table name equal to um patient record and here i'll put that um report source name so i'll put that patient dot this dot month okay so i want to see all the uh, patient which is created on this month only so i'll put that uh, patient record the filter condition should be created on and then we should select that this month so select the month and select this month okay and then save that so what happens so i can use this report source anywhere in multiple times so i can i can use this report source in multiple times i don't have to um, use that table anymore so copy this report source and then go back and create a new report and here you need to select the data source our case patients this month and then we have to uh, create a report name called patient record 
for, for this month once you create that you should select the next and the next you have a options multiple options you have to select other types okay so what types of report you want to see for our case you can select the bar you can select the uh, histogram anything you can select okay so i'll select the bar or else you can select the pie so depending on your requirement you can select the uh, types of reports okay so i'll select that type equal to bar and click next so once i select the bar you can see it is showing that um, one bar report now in this bar report you can select the group by i'll select the group by equal to state so that report can show based on the state so now if i see there are three state one is the complete in progress and new these are the state and then each state showing the count equal to one two and all those um completed okay along with that you can do a stack by so stack by means that in this uh, 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 in this record if you want to do a stacking okay so i'll select the stack by on the payment status and then run okay so payment status have two uh, field one is the true or false so if i stack by it can say that three false means that whatever completed whatever patient record is in complete state they have payment status false for three records and then two are are uh, true again in the in progress state it is showing that one is false and one is true and here definitely it is i have only one true so that's how you can do and click next and then here is the options you need to select a uh, share to whom you want to share so this report is going to share by someone or this report is going to be at any dashboard or anywhere that you have to define so save this report first once you save this report now you can click the share button now if you click the share to whom you want to share you can check the everyone then uh, it will require a role like for which role it is it will be available otherwise you can define for groups or for particular user you can share this report so i can uh, come share this for network groups and click okay and save so this group this report will be shared by network um, uh, team they can add or they can see this report or they can add this report into their dashboard okay so that is the one thing along with that you can also schedule the report what is the scheduling report scheduling report is nothing but every month it will send a um, data to a particular um, sent um, send this report via email so for that you need to click here and here is the sharing options so you need to schedule that so it will be scheduled a report and every month this report will be run or every periodically this report will be run and sent to the uh, particular recipient so our case we are going to um, select that we can select the user and you can select the groups so i am selecting myself and in the group i am selecting the network groups because this group this is shared by network and here this report will be sent in monthly okay every month it will be sent and then subject is that uh, patient record report if you want to put some body you can put and here the which types of data you need in a pdf format in png format or or any format you can select that and then click submit so once your report is scheduled go back to the scheduled report module and then from there you can see there is a one um, report is scheduled and then the report will be um, in a pdf landscape format and then um, if you want to put the, uh, the it will be run monthly uh, automatically but somehow if you want to execute now then you click the execute now 
it will be generate emails and uh, we can see that um, reports in our mailbox so go back to that emails now in the email you can see that it is showing the recipients names right and the subject and this is the attachment which have downloaded for us so click that so it will be actually delivered to our um, email mailbox so now you can see that uh, this report is delivered and once I click that it is showing in a PDF format so every month it will be sent to my mailbox I'll get the reports and I'll check the data that how it looks like okay so that's how you can configure uh, your reports um, that's it for today uh, if you have any question let me know in my comment section